but these operators are same. Okay. So if I write like this, so what is that must select star from products where price greater than 20. Now it is displaying only whose price is more than 20. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So like this select star from products where price greater than 20. 20. Because 20 is an integer number, number. So we don't put in quotations, right? It's a string we put in quotations. Yes. Numbers we don't write in quotations, okay? But you want only price whose price is exactly 20, then you can write equal to 20, right? Yes, sir. And if you write equal to 20, it will display only products whose price 20. is exactly 20. 20. Right? There is only one product whose price is 20. 20. Yeah, okay. that up to you, right? What exactly you want to read? Greater than, uh, less than, uh, greater than or equal to, uh, less than or equal to, uh, equal to, uh, like that. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. But here also you tell me, I want all the employees who are from uh, Hyderabad city. What do you write? Where? City. Select. Start yeah. from employee. Start from employee. Employee. Where? City. city. Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Single code Hyderabad. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So maybe, you know, if suppose there is a database system like, you know, Jomoto or something, you know, if you want to write what are all the restaurants available in uh, your area, in your location, what do you write, SQL query? Huh? Select. 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 From, uh, from, uh, okay, if they're having, you know, uh, uh, table name as, you know, uh, Best select star Best from... Uh, uh, restaurants. Mm. Restaurants. Restaurants. Where? Yeah. 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 Something. It will get all the restaurants in this location, right? Yes. So yes. Then see, see, when you see in the front end also, in the front through front end, you are operating, right? Through front end, you go to the suppose, let's say you go to the Jamota and you say that. So you give the location, nearby location. But internally, internally, what the developer have written? Developer have written such type of SQL query only. Oh, yes. Right. So you, you give input in the front end as, let's say, your location. It will get all the hotel restaurants and display, right? Internally, what they have written, developer, they have written internally such type of SQL query, right? Whatever yes. input you give in the front end, it will take the value and uh, fetch and display, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. So like this, must so select star from table where some condition we are writing, where condition, where price greater than, where some value equal to, like this. Maybe less than, less than or equal to, like this you can use. Yes, sir. Okay. But let us say, I want to display all the books. Am I want to display all the books. Sorry, uh, products right here, sorry. I want to display all the products whose price is uh let's say uh greater than 10 and less than 20. I'm greater than 10 and less than 20. 20. And the select star mm -hmm. from so what do you write? Select star from products. Products where price price, 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 price greater than or equal to 10 price less than or equal to 20. Less than or equal to 20. Okay, so if you, yeah, in interviews also, when we are asking, some people write like this, where price greater than or equal to 10 and less than or equal to 20. This is a wrong SQL query. Okay. You are saying price greater than 10 and less than 20. What is less than 20? Price. What is price less than 20? Price. So price less than 20, you have to tell. Not equal. Not equal. But no, less than equal to 20 and day. Here, what, what is less than 20? You are not telling, right? You are simply price. saying less than 20. Price. What is less than 20? So this is a wrong price. SQL query, right? Yes. This is error in SQL query. So you have to say, which is less than 20? Price, right? Price, so price, price less than or equal to 20. So then this is correct. Okay. So you have to say price greater than 10 and price less than 20. Hmm. We write in second line, sir. Huh? 
if you write in another line, if, where price is equal to less than 10, and uh, in other line, where uh, price is uh, greater than or 20 or something like No, that. no, no, no. You can't use where twice. Twice, okay. Just once. In SQL statement, where should be used only once? Okay. Then the where condition is used only once. So you have to join it using and condition and R like that. You have to use the joining here. Instead of so, and, we can write that and symbol, sir? No, no, no. And is an, you know, and is a keyword you have to use. Okay. Yeah, in SQL language, you can't use that ampersand, ampersand, something like that. You can't use. Ah, yes. This doesn't work in SQL. In SQL as a simple English language, right? We have to use and. Okay. Sir, is SQL is not case since two? No, ma. You write cap letters, small letters, anything works. Okay. Sir. SQL is not a case since two, ma. You write whatever it is, it works. You write where like this, or you write where like this, it works. Okay. Okay. Anything but, is. But, uh, but sir, but uh, like we, we the inside the data and the column names are case sensitive, right? While we write. No, column names also not case sensitive. But the price P is a cap letter. I gave a small letter. No okay. problem. Okay, sir. Yeah. So SQL language is not a case sensitive. You write cap letter or small letter, it will understand. Okay. Right. So if now you got only the books, uh, sorry, whose products price is Emma, uh, greater than 10 and less than, than 20, 10, right? 10, 20. All prices are between 10 and 20 only, right? Yes. Okay. So like this you can write. Okay. Like this you can write. Or otherwise, no simple English language. You can also say where price between hmm. 10 and 20. 10 and 20. So will do same. Where price between 10 and 20. English language, how we speak English, right? Same way. So I want all the products whose price is between 10 and 20. Yes, so this will, uh, now in interview, they will ask question. If you write between, will it include 10, including 10 or uh, excluding, excluding 10? Exclude. No, it including is, 10. Including 10 and including 20 also. 20, yes. Okay, it is including. So that's some small such questions they will ask in interview sometimes. So what is it? Hmm? Emma, Vinay, you are also drawing some lines. Hmm. Okay, so understood, man. Now this includes 10 and 20, right? Yes, sir. This includes 10 and 20. 20. Including. Yeah. Okay, this is fine, ma. Select star from products where price between 10 and 20. 20. Yes. 20. Okay, this is fine. But suppose if I want normal SQL query, you tell me, ma. Yeah. Now, if I want all the uh, products, if I want all the products, let me stop sharing the screen and share again. Let me these things might erase. Yes, sir. No, there are it. Okay. Yeah. Now you you can see my screen, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So select star from products. I want all the prices whose price is less than 20. Uh, see, less than, less than, uh, okay, less than 10. Less than 10 and greater than 20. Less than 10 and greater than? 20. 20. Uh, you understood it? Less than 10 and greater than 20. What do you write? Where is price? price? Less, less than 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay, less and than or equal to 10. And including 10 also I want. Okay, less and than. Like, and, and price greater than 20. Greater than 20. Okay. What is the output you will get? Um, price in between 10 to 20. 10 to 20. Yeah. No, no, no. 10 no, sir. After 12, 10 12, 10 sir. 10 and 12, 20. And price at more than 20. More than above 20. More than above 20. Anchor alert from below 10 to after 20, I think. Uh, below 10 and above 20. Uh, above 20. 20. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But this will give you zero returns. Yes, sir. Zero. 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 Zero.
We don't have any error. Yeah, not error. It's zero records. We don't have any any records. Yeah. Say um, and means what is the meaning? Both, both conditions. Both, both conditions. conditions. Both both and means yeah. both should satisfy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, how come both are satisfied in this? <laughs> so, if you take a, there is a book whose price is, uh, sorry, if there is a product whose uh, price is, let's say, eight rupees, assume that, assume that there is a product whose price is eight rupees, then less than ten is okay. And is it uh, eight is greater than twenty? No, no. No, so the condition is false, right? Yes. Yes. And and both should satisfy, Yes, sir. So no price satisfies both conditions, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. So there is a product whose price is twenty-two rupees. Ha, greater than twenty, correct? And less than ten. Is it twenty-two less than ten? No. No. So that is also false. So all prices, this condition is false, right? Ah, ma. Ma, but the day today. So that's why what you have to do is use our condition. Our condition. Okay. So you have to use less than ten or greater than. Greater than twenty. Mm. So you have to use our condition. Now you see, you got yes. all the prices. Okay, no, I no, said no. Uh, less than or equal to 10, 22, 21, 25, 30. No price is between uh, 10 and 20, see? Yes, sir. Yes. No price is between 10 and 20, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like this. So if you are writing like this, you are using R, R, I have. And, and, and means both should satisfy. Both the right? conditions should be true. Okay, so if you want either less than 10 or greater than 20. Okay, now this is the same query. How to write using between? But for this, we have used between, right? Okay, yes. Remember, these two are same. I mean to say, these two are same, right? Yes, sir. You yes, see, these two are same, right? Yes, sir. But for this, how do you write between? We cannot write between, sir. I think we cannot write between. Between, between 10 and 10. 20 means it will get between 10 and 20. In English, tell me in English. Between. How do you, how do you? Not between and 10 and 20. Ah. Less than 20 and number. Between Japan and English. Not, English. Sir. Not, not between not 10 between. and 20. That's all. Price, sir. Where price is not between ah, okay. where, 10 and 20. Where price. Price, where price not between 10, 10 and 20. 20. Now you got all prices which is less than 10 and greater than 20. Yes, sir. Kabdi, 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 kabdi. Pagale, 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 pagale. What, sir? <laughs> Sir, or ante any of the condition should be true, or sir. Either, either, right? Either, uh, either less than either. or greater than. Or, okay. That means you, you don't get between 10 and 20, right? Yes, sir. Hmm. So now, now here in this, if I write not between, it won't include 10 and 20 now. It should be less than 10, greater than I'm 20. Greater than in 20. This case, 10 okay. and 20 are not included. Okay. If you write between, between means 10 and 20 are included, right? Included, yes, sir. Yes. So not between 10 and 20 are not included. 11 to 19. Uh, Hmm. Huh, mm -hmm. 10 to 20 oh, are below not 10. you will get below 10 after 20 0 to 9 Emma, 0 to 9 21 to yes, sir. whatever 21 to anything okay. right above. yes sir so then price less than or equal to 10 means in it will include 10 and 20 sir yeah you because you said equal to right here sir yes sir okay so, if then equivalent is the last one, darling. Then equivalent is like this. Now, these two are same, right? Yes, these two are same, less than 10 or greater than 20. Yes, sir. Not between 10 and 20. These two are same now? Yes, sir. 
Okay. So now these two are same and these two output is same. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, my any uh, anything you want me to explain again, or is it understood? Sir, uh, between uh, ten and twenty. The just not this is the price between 10 and 20 this one right yeah, okay yeah okay so this is the price between 10 and 20 and between oh, you will get all prices who are between 10 and 20 right and the meaning same again Greater yes, than sir. 10 and less than 20. The meaning same again. Okay. Sir, after we get result, we have to check manual, sir, if it is correct or not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. After you get results, you for example, as I told you, right? Uh, um, If there is a big data, how we can do it, sir? Lahari. Yeah. So there are different things. Nine right? what are, music class. Are you doing a ETL testing? Are you doing a data migration testing? Are you doing DB testing? There is a differences, ma. Yeah, that concept, how to do DB testing, I will tell you later, first learn SQL. That's what I told you. So what is DB testing? How to do DB testing, the checklist and all the things I will discuss in the later class. Okay, maybe don't get that into now because you know this will deviate. That anyhow we will discuss, right? How to do large database is there, how to do, what exactly we do in database testing. That, that is a secondary part we will discuss. So first learn and understand how to write SQL queries. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, because database testing and there are, I have to explain, you know, somewhere you might be coming across, you know, ETL testing. ETL is also database uh, point of view only. Data migration testing, you might have come across. DB testing, you will have come across. So when you create a terminal, you should understand the difference between them, how to, you know, how we do the testing process and all these three things. When you separate classes, we will discuss that. It's a part of it. That's a secondary part after learning SQL. Okay. So tell me, this is okay, everyone? How we are writing SQL? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You work okay, no? yes. and do between R yes, and between these two are same. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next. So in where condition, what did we use? Like between not like this, right? Okay. Sir, and, and between R not yes, between R equal to. Okay. Now I want all the customers who are from Berlin City, London City, as well as let us we take Madrid. Berlin. Mm. So how do you write here? Select star from customers where? Where, where you equal to London, 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 city in London, 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 and London, 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 Mm. R, 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 but if R, I use R, R, you will get zero records. Ma. Yes, so sir, one sir. customer belongs to both the cities. Yes, sir. So here you have to use what you call R. 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 City equal to, see, but when we write, say, I want all customers from uh, London, Berlin, Madrid, yeah. like that. But what do you have to say? Customers from London or Berlin or R. what you call, you know, city Madrid. equal to Madrid. Madrid. Madrid, like that you can. But now you see you got all the 10 customers ten are there who are from London, uh, Berlin, yeah. London, Berlin and there is only one customer. London, there are some customers. There are two customers from Madrid. Seven. Okay. So like oh, there are three customers from Madrid like that. So totally 10 customers. 
Okay, so like this, you are using R operator if you are want to select from multiple cities like this, right? Okay, but if you observe here, writing city equal to London, R city equal to Berlin, R city equal to Madrid, this becomes very lengthy, right? Yes. 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 yes now can we simplify this? Can I say where city? In. In, in this in. list. London. In London. London. Kama. Now you have to write comma here. You can use comma. London comma. Berlin comma. Berlin comma. Madrid. Madrid. So you can use where city in in these values. So now you will get the same 10 records. Same records. Yes, sir. So you can use in operator here like this. Okay. Okay. Now you tell me. In operator used with string value only. You can use for numbers also. For numbers also. Oh, okay. I want all prices whose price is exactly 20 rupees, exactly 25 rupees, exactly 30 rupees, something like this. Now you can write where price in. Price in. And exactly 20, 20 comma, 22 comma. Third. 30. I don't know, 18 like that. If I write like this, what will happen? You will get only price 18, 22, 20 like this. Okay, ma? Okay. Yes. And yes. The price exactly matches only 20, exactly 22, exactly 18 like this in all these values. Okay? Yes. Now, what was the query we wrote? So select customers where city in London, comma Berlin, comma Madrid, like this month. Hmm. Now I want all the customers who are except these three cities, except these three cities. I want customers from all the other cities. Not, not in. in. Not in. Hmm. So earlier you have used a between, not between. not between, right? Yes. Hmm. Similar way, you can write city in as well as not, not in. Not in. Not in. Not in these three. Except these three remaining, you will get all the other cities. See? Yeah. You get Mexico, DF. Yes. Emma. So yes, all other cities, right? You got except London, Madrid, like this. Berlin. You got all the customers from all the other cities, right? Okay. Yes. So in, not in. Between, not between. Not between. Okay, right? So, with different yes. operators, what we are using in the where condition, ma? greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, okay, yes. between, not between, R operator, and operator, okay, in, in operator, not in operator, like this. Okay? Yeah. Now, you can also use combination of these things if you want. But for example, if you take employee table, uh, Okay, if I take employee table. So there is a city as well as a designation like this. Hmm. Now tell me, I want all employees, all the managers. I want all the managers from Hyderabad and Bangalore. Then I want all the managers from Hyderabad. I want the list of all managers who are from Hyderabad and Bangalore. Um, How do you Select a designation. Select a designation. Yeah, designation. Yes. Manage. 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 What is select for Ma? Select. So like this, right? So select star. It is much for the must select directly column name Rylan Gada, select designation. Any. Yes. Ah, yes, select yes, star is much for the Purgani syntax is select for a star from table name where you have to write the condition here. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So select from 
employee table where designation is equal to manager and the city and city and the r operator is city equal to hyderabad, hyderabad or, city, or equal city equal to bangalore hmm. city equal to hyderabad or city equal to bangalore instead of that we can use in right yes so now see here it's a combination because there are two different columns right we are comparing so designation must be manager and the city must be either hyderabad or hyderabad or bangalore, or bangalore right yeah. so now we'll get all employees so all managers who are in hyderabad and bangalore bangalore okay sir instead of displaying the, all the columns we can specify the columns displaying also yeah instead of displaying all columns we can specify that which column is required yeah, to you display. can write it's up to you right as per your need yes yes and already we discussed right how to restrict the columns yeah yeah that's why the, they are told that first one uh, select a designation and city like from employee the table where this... ah, i said i want okay like, the question is i asked actually i want all employees okay. you know whose designation is manager and uh, like that okay okay ha huh. if you want you know apdu uh, only designation matrame annam anukondi apdu em vastadi output what you will get select the designation call. from employee annaru anukondi only designation only designation correct apdu em vastadi ikkada output lo only manager 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 annu vastadi what is the use of this okay output lo you will get only designation display designation. Manager. there are let's say there are 10 managers in high example make there are 10 managers in hyderabad and bangalore together you will get manager display 10 times what is the use of this result yes okay sir yes, designation comma city we can do adhi adhi employee name or address of phone number i want ante right? apdi okay right? okay apdi okay. there is a meaningful i want employee name his phone number okay, okay. as well as employee yeah, id right. employee id okay employee id employee name phone number email id of all managers uh employee id uh, sorry what to call email right email id and you know this is meaningful right even out okay, yeah. you see it's meaningful for to understand oh this is the employee id this is the name this is his phone number for managers in hyderabad and bangalore like okay they got Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, for example, if I write where select city from customers, where city in London, Maryland, and it's just a three cities. Yes, sir. What is the out use of this for a meaningful point of view? You see, I will get the city names. Yes. Okay, right? Yeah, that's okay, ma. So you understood the concept, right? Yeah. Yes, no, sir. Okay. Now, as per your need, you write whatever you want. That's that's okay. Yeah. yeah. fine so this is understood how to write restrict the columns restrict the you know rows rows, rows, rows. Like using yes, different sir. condition greater yes, than sir. greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to between yes. not between and are like this hmm. okay so next thing if you see something what you call you know usually in a table ma in a table right now here we don't have any such uh, records Am I right now? We don't have any such records here. But suppose, uh, assume, that, assume that, for example, this product price is not known. Assume that my here eighteen is there, but for some reason, if they have told that the, the this pro uh, product price is, they don't know the price of the product. Instead of eighteen, what they should have what it should have displayed here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should null have displayed null. 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 Okay. Yeah, it should have displayed a null value. So in a database, in a database, null means what is the meaning, ma'am? No record. No. So in a database, null value means unknown. No value. Unknown. unknown. Unknown value. Null. Null means unknown value. That is also some interview questions they used to ask. What is null? Null is a space or null is a zero? Null is a blank like that? No, no, no. Null is not a blank. <laughs> the null is not a blank okay blank or empty or zero, zero. no it's only just an unknown value remember it is not a blank or empty or zero null is not a zero ma null is not a zero yes, null is not a 